I wanted to ask you, most people, when they hear the word austerity measures, it's, it's kind of vague, but some of the specifics that uh, this IMF deal uh, f uh, is requiring uh, of, uh, of Ecuador are amazing, considering where Ecuador has gone in the past few years. They're talking about raising fees for all government services and for utilities, uh, imposing a new value-added tax, a consumption tax, uh, raising the ceiling on interest rates so that uh, banks can charge whatever interest rates uh, they want. Uh, and they're also prohibiting the central bank from lending money to, uh, to the public sector. Uh, and uh, so all of this stuff, considering where Ecuador has gone uh, during the, uh, uh, during, uh, the uh, reign of his, of his uh, predecessor, uh, the poverty rate in Ecuador dropped from 64 percent in 2000 to only 21 percent. That's an astonishing drop in the number of people un in poverty. And this is going to really reverse all of these gains uh, that were made under uh, pre uh, President Correa, although there are many criticisms of President Correa. How did this happen, especially since Lenin Moreno is from the same party as President uh, Correa? Yes, this is this is re uh, really interesting. Um, what what is going on now in Ecuador is that we got a budget gap uh, that should be that sh should be filled in in some way. Um, I think the whole population is uh, now is conscient that uh, some kind of measure should be taken. Um, uh, this this problem uh, started with President Correa, who was not. Um, who, who, was, who was not uh, uh, efficient using or taking uh, measures of uh, economy measures in, in Ecuador. And he gave President Correa, uh, President Moreno, a big problem regarding, regarding budget. So it's not a problem that started with President Moreno, it started with President Correa. And when President Correa needs extra funds to, 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 to fund in the state, he started a, a a very aggressive campaign of extraction of, of oil and mining, in, especially in the Amazon region, in the indigenous people's territory without consultation. And, and the indigenous movement had been protesting since Correa and now with President Moreno, um, because, because these two presidents have been uh, ineffective of uh, uh, finding a, another another way to fund in the state that the extraction of oil and, and mining. So the, the problem is not recent, uh, but right now President Moreno, uh, of all the measures that he can he can choose to take, he's uh, taking the recipe of the IMF. So basically, he is gonna he's gonna um, uh, decrease tax for the wealthy. Uh, he's um, uh, he's going to increase gas prices by eliminating subsidies, and that that is going to impact the the most poor people in the in the society, uh, especially because the 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 fares of the bus fares will be will be increasing, and the whole chain of of prices will be will be affected, and also the changes to the labor laws. And that is really, really worrisome, because he wants to dismantle the workers' protection that we have in the law for several decades. And, and in the past, maybe 20 years ago, when we were discussing the, the, the free trade zone of the Americas, indigenous, indigenous peoples rise and, and protest against, against that, that initiative, and actually they were able to stop that. And, and now we got the same attempt to to dismantle workers' protection, and and there is there is a, a, a strong campaign against public officers right now. And some of the some of the measures that Moreno is uh, is uh, is willing to to introduce um, attack directly to those workers. They trying to um, uh, to decrease the the pay vacations to to them. They're gonna take one one day of salary of the public services, and 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 also the new people uh, that will work for the state will will work with less less payment and with uh, less stability of in their in their work contracts. So. So we got all these measures that are going to impact the, 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 the worker class in, in, in Ecuador. 
Um, and and what, what we see with President Moreno is the lack of, uh, of, um, uh, of dialogue with the, with the social movements and with the, with the workers, and, and with the worker class especially. Um, we, we see, as Naomi Klein describes in, in his book about the, the, the doctrine of the, the shock doctrine, uh, that there is, a, there is a package of neoliberal measures that will be uh, better receive if the if the society is uh, weak and they are trying to weaken in the society by repression by using the army by using using the army against uh, protesters um, that's where where we are living now in, in, in Ecuador